Oh, I will never forget making her cry for the first time. Didn't mean to. <laughs> you ever do that, guys? Make your wife cry? Didn't mean to. You just open your mouth. <laughs> Are you ever going to shave your legs again? <laughs> I never said that again. In fact, I don't say anything about her breath in the morning. For 25 years, I've never said a thing. <laughs> You can see it, but I ain't going to say anything about it. It's like coming over at me, and I'm like... <laughs> you got to walk in love, man. Walking in love means that you, just, you shut up. You don't, you don't say what you're thinking. And instead of putting all the expectations on Kathy to make me happy, I have to put them on God to make me happy and fulfilled. He's the only one that can really handle me. Because I am deceitfully wicked. And I am probably the chief among sinners. I think the Apostle Paul took my line. And so to, when you have two sinners under the same roof, it's going to get a little sporty, isn't it? So if our methodology is to fall, find the right person, fall in love with that person, and then put all our expectations on them to make us happy, we're in trouble. And you'll continue to repeat those steps until you figure out true relationships. Godly relationships that are lasting, these people that are married for you know, 54 years and, and uh, 43 and 52 and 25, it's because somewhere along the line they decided that they were going to become the right person, that they were going to walk in love and as best they can put everything on God.